Okay, so I did guitar fundamentals with like wavelength, frequency, and speed. As a disclaimer, I performed this lab and like everything before we learned about waves, so a lot of it is wrong. And so, yeah. So the purpose of this uh, lab was to measure the frequency of the vibrations of the guitar string as the effective length of the string is changed by fretting it. And then uh, my hypothesis was as wavelength decreases and frequency increases, the velocity will also increase, which is completely wrong. It should stay constant because the wavelength equation is proportional to each other. And so uh, the equipment you need is uh, a guitar, electric or acoustic will work. I use acoustic, or I use electric, my bad. <laughs> uh, a guitar pick, an electric tuner, or just like anything that uh, will display frequency. Um, a tape measure to mark the length of the neck of the guitar. A uh, lab notebook and a pen or pencil. Um, so first I just did background research on uh, waves and the guitar. And then I measured the neck of the guitar, guitar from like the head where all the uh, knobs are down to where it meets uh, like the saddle, which is where the where, just where the strings rest on like the middle of the body of it, and then uh, I played the open string, found the frequency for that for like the first string, and then uh, went down by fretting it down from the first fret down to twelve, and I did the same thing for that from the rest for the rest of the strings, and just made a chart. Um, and the equation I used for most of it was just the lambda equals uh, v over f, or v equals f times lambda. And then um, most of, like all, all of the waves for the most part were fundamental waves, or just like waves with two nodes on them. And because of that, the lengths of the string were just 2L, or the wavelength of the string was 2L. Here's my data. This, this is a lot of stuff. Uh, you can see, like the velocity should be constant, but just from error, it starts to increase as you move down the frets, which also led me to believe that my hypothesis was correct. There's more of it. And so, some sources of error were like not picking the strings clearly, and like getting some fuzzy sounds in there. Um, the tuner not picking up the sound. Uh, clearly from like background noises or just it, uh, something blocking it or something. Um, the guitar not being perfectly in tune, I did my best, it said it was, so. <laughs> uh, and I did not find an accepted value for velocity, I don't know if there could be one, because velocity is fickle and changes easily. Uh, so I wasn't able to perform error analysis on the velocity itself. And so I concluded that uh, my hypothesis was right, even though like now I know it's not. But from what I found in this lab, I was. And uh, that like by multiplying the lowest frequency of the guitar by something a little over one, it will eventually keep increasing it from what I had. But if, if it was the exact values it should have been, it would have proportionally like, canceled each other out and just made it the same thing as it should have been, like the entire way down for each fret. And um, you can perform this uh, lab with pretty much any stringed instrument because it's all uh, similar. Just uh, the, the frequencies would be different. And that's it. Time for a question. Will. Uh, do you know if the tension of the string changed when you fretted it? Do you know if that affected uh, the frequency? Dang it, Will, that was my question. Um, I don't know. I feel like it would. Yes. I'm going to totally supersede that question. OK. <laughs> Common deer. Dear sir, no, no, I'm I'm climbing on top of it and smashing it. Oh. Christian. Yes. Tell me what affects the velocity of a wave on a string now. Now that you know, do you have an equation that you can write on the board for what affects the velocity on a string? 
If you don't have it memorized, you can ask one of these hooligans. I don't have it memorized. Is it just period over root? That, put that up on the board, please. What is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. B equals root period over root. What? Wait, root 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 it's like a. L. M over L is in the uh, denominator. Or just together. Yeah. So wait, root? Root period. T. Period. You could put root. Oh. Yeah. Wait, is it all in the same? So and then, yeah, well, yes. It's, yeah, all it's all a root. M over M. Okay. L. Which is linear. I'm divided, I'm divided by, yeah. by L, so isn't it just so you could just like do T L period L over M T divided by M over L. No, that's misleading. You want to leave it as M over L in the denominator. Okay. Put parentheses around the denominator, make it clear though. Okay, so I want you to come up with an explanation for this effect that you noticed. And it's so dangerous doing a lab if you're looking for something and then you see it there, although, you know, it's hard to see whether you're seeing is what you are expecting. So what am I trying to say? What I'm saying is you were doing a lab and you found an effect where the velocity was changing. I don't think it's fair just to write it off to um, error. It's, it's not fair because something else is happening. Now, it's not what I would call a first order effect. It's not an effect that we were ready for. It's not an effect that you expect now that you've done some more learning in terms of waves and such. But it's a second order effect and it's very interesting. The reason I can argue, I think reasonably, that it's a, it's a real effect is it systematically increased. Yeah. By what? Can we get those numbers back up there? We want to get a percentage on that. It systematically increased the speed. Very much. So get a percentage, just qu calculate a quick percentage of those increases for me. Okay. You can just do it by head. Oh no. Yeah. I'm gonna zoom in on your face while you're calculating. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. That's good. <laughs> you're just calculating percent increase. Uh huh. Oh wait. Between the fastest and the slowest. It would be on any given one. Pretty high, wouldn't it? High percentage? What percentage do you get? I don't know. Like I didn't actually. I just looked at it. I can actually. He's sneaking in a calculation on his phone right calculation. now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what's happening. It's about 99.5. 99.5 what? No. Whoa. No, it's, if it goes from 316 to 321, it's increasing by 5. That's a percent or two. Oh, okay. So, okay, I got it. Now. So we got a 1 or 2% increase. But yeah. that's happening reliably in all the cases. Over yeah. on the string D, it looks like it's happening. That's a few percent over in string D. So we do have an increase in velocity. What could explain that? I'm going to pan over and look at that equation for a moment while you explain how that could happen. Length of the string. Mm. Length of the string does not come into that equation. And I'll tell you why. That denominator is not the length of the string. That's the length over which you're taking a mass. That's why I didn't want to do any rearranging of that. I prefer to write that as a mu, which is a linear mass density. Because if you've got some section of string, you know the lower notes are um, thicker, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's got a different mu. Mm -hmm. And so it's automatically, even with the same tension, going to make a different sound. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me another idea on why that could be changing while you're fretting it. You're kind of out of options, actually. There's only one last thing. Tension. Why would tension change? And how did tension change? How do you propose that tension probably changed if V went up? The period. No. That is not period. Oh, yeah. oh is that just tension? That's tension. Oh, OK. So it used to be period. Uh, what, what I'm asking you to do is look at your data and tell me what happened to velocity. It increases. As you fretted more and more and more. Yes. That's moving down towards the pickup of an electric guitar, right? Mm, yep. Okay. So uh, what happened to tension then? If the speed increased? It would increase. He says it would increase, is he right? Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. So is that a possibility? Yes. Can you explain why tension increases? You're pushing on the dang string. Oh, right. 
Yeah. Awesome. Any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> Can you actually play guitar? A little bit. I'm learning. Nice. Thanks, Chris.